Good morning and welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. I'm going to be showing you a bench up tape today. So, actually, a bench fail. Uh, not really much of an update, but some of you guys have been following along. You know that I have a Snap Tight Camaro that I'm working on, and I'm going to build it as a Bumblebee Transformers Camaro. And I also have a 148 scale Corsair. Uh, it's an F4U4. It's from Ravel, and uh, got that one on the bench, been working on it. Why am I calling this a fail? Let's take a look. As you can see, the Bumblebee Camaro, it had some yellow paint on it, but it's in a bath of super clean, and that's never a good thing. I painted it, well, first of all, I washed it, and I primed it, took it out, and sprayed it yesterday and I don't know what is is on there um, since I've primed it I haven't picked it up I haven't molested it with my fingers I've always had gloves on but the paint just uh, certain spots on the car on the roof on the fenders on the hood the paint just kind of ran away uh, from, from these areas uh, it was like there's oil on it or something and the uh, funny thing is that this is the second snap tight Camaro that I've done that I've had this problem with so I don't know if it's the kit uh, I really don't know if it's something that I'm doing but I've never had this problem with uh, at least not to this extent with uh, any of my other models so yeah there it is it's in the bath so we're gonna strip it down and we're basically gonna start this process over again but I have been working on the interior some door panels seats um just kind of outlined all of the uh all of the little indentions in yellow like i said because this is going to be the transformers bumblebee i wanted to highlight the the black and the yellow now the chrome that you see on here uh that is actually and i'll show you the pen that i used getting it out of the drawer that is liquid chrome that's a pen that, uh, that, that I did that chrome with and I mean look at how nice that turned out so if you don't have one of these you need to pick one up all right moving on uh, been working on the chassis a little bit the last snap tight I did I did not uh, do anything to the chassis I just left it all black and uh, it is kind of difficult to detail all of this because it's all one piece but I figure why not uh, I got the body in the super clean bath I can work on some other things so I got that kind of going on I got the wheels on it uh, so yeah so that's the Camaro here is the Corsair those of you who weren't able to actually uh, pinpoint that immediately that that's a Corsair so this is my 148 scale Corsair and this is just the first coat of paint on it I'm gonna do another coat so I primed it and then I painted it and as you can see the paint um, didn't cover quite as well as I wanted it to I, I got better coverage on this side than I did on the other side but there's still some areas that, that need to be touched up now the one thing that I want to point out about this is the wing roots along the edge of the fuselage where the wing meets the body I had some pretty good gaps there um, I also had some pretty big big gaps right here where the wing fold area was now instead of using a filler like a putty um, and I've got this this white putty that I've used in the past instead of doing that what I used was canopy glue and I just kind of squirted it down into the uh, the gaps and wiped the excess off and let it dry and when I went back and painted it, uh, it, it actually filled those gaps in really well. So um, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's not the greatest model in the world. Um, definitely I had to sand where the two fuselage halves come together, especially all the way across the nose. That didn't fit together very well at all. The canopy has not fit on this thing very well, period. I actually had to file the canopy rails down to match the glass because they just didn't line up. So 
not a very great kit at all, but if you put a little bit of effort into it, a little bit of time, you can probably pull something out that looks halfway decent. So the Corsair is coming along, the Camaro, <laughs> well, we'll see. Guys, I almost forgot something. If this looks a little weird in the video, it's because I almost forgot something. This is an add-on. Um, but I wanted to show you, I got some shop cards this week. So, BAS Dry Dock. Thank you so much, Brian. I really appreciate you sending this. Again, BAS Dry Dock. Hopefully you guys will go over and check him out. He builds a lot of military models. Airplanes, ships, so. And Captain Nemo. Got a shop card from him today. Or not, not today, but this week. So, um, thank you, uh, Neiman Chambers. So that's his, uh, his YouTube channel, Neiman Chambers. So, Captain Nemo. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys sending me shop cards. I really do. Um, if you have not sent me one, uh, if you have shop cards, um, I would really love to have one. So, uh, starting my collection, and I plan on putting them all up on a wall. A uh, big mural of, you know, all my friends. Leave a comment down below. Say, hey, would you like shop card? And, and I'll respond to you, and we can work out those details. And uh, I'm still working on getting mine done with the name change and everything. I was almost done with the other ones, and uh, yeah, I, I need to kind of get on that so that I can uh, return the favor to you guys. But anyway... Thank you so much, guys, for the shop cards. I really appreciate it. Uh, for those of you that have sent before uh, this video and, and for the two that I got this week, much, much appreciated. Thank you, guys. I just, I, I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't express it. Uh, I'm very happy that you guys, uh, y'all like me. <laughs> I'm going to cut that out of the video, I bet. Anyway, that's it. That's my bench update. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Hit that subscription button. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. Hit the notification button so you'll know when I'm doing a good, uh, doing another video. And leave a comment. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate all the support. You guys have a really, really great day. God bless, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.